So we have 175 grams of water at 10 degrees Celsius. We put it in a coffee cup calorimeter. This is two nested polystyrene cups. We add 4.9 grams of pure sulfuric acid at 10 degrees C. We add that to the calorimeter. Temperature went up to 14.9 degrees C. Assume the specific heat of the mixture is 4.18 joules per gram degree C. All the heat goes into the solution. How much heat was evolved and what's the heat per mole of sulfuric acid? Well, this is just like the others. We know that heat is equal to specific heat times mass times delta T. So we look at this and we're given information about the specific heat. That's right here. We know the temperature change, uh, delta T. We know the final temperature, 14.9 degrees C minus the initial, 10 degrees C. So my temperature change, delta T, is 4.9 degrees C. What's my mass? 175 plus 4.9 because we're adding both of these materials together, so we have to deal with the total mass because everything got heated up. So it's 175 plus 4.90 gives us 180 grams with three sig figs. So now we know that the heat is equal to the specific heat, 4.18 joules per gram degree C, times the mass, 180 grams, times the temperature change, 4.9 degrees C, is equal to 3,700 joules. It says how much heat in kilojoules, so we divide by 1,000 and we get 3.7 kilojoules. Now it says what's the heat per mole of sulfuric acid? Well, I know that I have... 4.90 grams of sulfuric acid, so I grab my periodic chart, one mole of sulfuric, 98.0794 grams, is equal to 0 0.0500 moles of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So now I want heat per mole. Well, I know the heat, 3.7 kilojoules, divided by the moles, 0 0.05 moles, is equal to 74 kilojoules per mole of sulfuric acid. So that's the first calorimetry problem, and you will see some calorimetry problems of different types where it talks about having a bomb calorimeter with some oil, in the calorimeter, and those are on the homework for Chapter 6. So um, I will see you tomorrow for lab, and that wraps up things for today.